I'm Chris Trot. And I'm Harry Higgs. And this is Wedge Play at Bandon Preserve. Where's it going? Hey, is it coming back? Is it, just, is it just gone? Okay, Higgsy. I want to go through this with you because it's an interesting one. And we've let the balls come into the rough three different lies, three different clubs. Talk to me about your thoughts as you look at this one. Sure, yeah. I mean, well, one... We probably missed it long left with a wedge. That's a no-no, but it happens. Um, so we're, yeah, we're in a bit of a tough spot. I mean, this is one in five. You're getting it up and down. The, you know, this is not a great spot. So really the end game here is give yourself a chance to make par, give yourself a putt. And then what shot you hit will depend on the lie. We've got two pretty good ones and then one that just kind of settled down with some grass in between it one that you kind of would have to go down and attack a bit more so the the poor lie here we're probably going to drive it into this bank just you know stay aggressive drive it into the bank probably going to run on just past the hole but we've got to look for par you want to try that one first Charlie? yeah i go i mean this is steep enough i'll go 56. so here you're looking for the wedge to get into the turf again and get through the turf yeah, and even here, when it there is enough grass behind it and it is sitting down enough, it may not actually get through. We're, we're just trying to get like right on down to the back of the ball. Maybe a bit steeper, one of the kind of easiest tricks to get steeper out of a poor lie. It, it just choked down on the club. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just going to naturally happen. Make you get a bit more risk. Yeah, off get on it. yeah, and then it's just kind of a, a simple little up and down. You just kind of set the club up and then you just drop it right onto the back of the ball. Let, and that's why you play your wedges heavier, right? Let the weight just go into Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And you've touched yeah. on the leading edge. We've talked about shape sure. throughout this whole thing. This is where leading edge comes into your advantage, right? Absolutely. Yeah. You're going to, this, like, this is going to kind of drive in and, and probably just kind of stop. You're not really worried about a follow through or anything. You're just, you're just trying to drop the head of the club, you know, right on the back of the ball. I think you've done it so well to this point. Let's have another yeah, look let's at what see. you got. It should, I mean, right around that, the cut of the green there, maybe just in the fringe or just on the green, and, and it should just kind of release, probably release maybe just a bit past it, but give ourselves a look at par. See, it just needed to land a touch further. So that's kind of the mistake you do not want to make is now you're back in the same spot. With a tighter lie, yeah. which is yeah, we can go again, and this is almost yeah, a very similar lie. And that, I mean, it's the information I just gleaned is I just need to hit it a bit harder. You know, you, you, I didn't hit a poor shot, I just didn't hit it hard enough. So now we go and just hit this thing a little harder. And there's the safety of the bank behind. Oh, he just missed the slope. But again, difficult spot, I would rather that be the result then back here similar spot yeah having to having to chip and pitch again how do you manage yourself mentally after golf shots like this i know it's tough yeah. and i know there's a lot of jokes we can make about this sure. but on a serious note scorecard in the pocket say you've put it here that one you've already said you can deal with it how do you settle yourself down going from there to here because yeah. i'm sure there's a thousand things going through yeah your well it's it's forever uh you know you're you're probably walking here when you when you've left it here and you're just you shake your head it's just you know i don't know uh, you know, uh, this is the one mistake you can't make from a spot like that you know i would rather have hit it to 30 feet past the hole it gives me a, a just a better chance you get the putter on it um it, it's it's a constant battle to try to settle yourself um you know my one of my cues is that one of the easiest things is get get the club out of my hands you know when i'm for some reason i get it i keep it so you know brother caddy over here Slow it down. To take take the club get get the club out of my hands and then you just kind of have to you're not going to forget somebody that says you know hey i've completely forgotten about the last shot you're not like we're human you will remember the mistake you just made but kind of big into you know the last thought or how you prepare for this shot this this shot now is a is a better lie than i just had and this shot now is holeable so now we're kind of we're, we're looking to maybe be a bit more aggressive here and have a chance to hold it. You know, if I if I hold it, great. If I don't, I should be able to get this one up and down. But it is, it's just 
Let, positive. Let's, get let, it yeah, positive. Let's, yeah. yeah, flip the script. Get yeah. it. Get it somewhere positive. And and it's okay that you didn't maybe necessarily forget what you just did. Yeah. But as long as this shot has a bit more positivity, you've given yourself a better chance to either hold this or get this one up and down. Yeah. Let's get back into our scenarios, sure. unless you're frothing to hit this one. I saw a little glance with the little well, give me the, uh, in your eye. I was like, hang on. Yeah, give me the lob wedge. <laughs> I could see that there was a little bit of a tinkle in the eye there. Yeah, you know, I've done it every now and again. <laughs> Sometimes you got to chip in for par. Just drive the leading edge, though. The strike taken care of. It's quick away from you, hey? Yeah. Okay, let's yeah, learn from that, that and have a look at these two. You've got got 60 in your hand. Yes. So now let's we'll go we'll go with this one. Now we've got it the ball is is sitting a bit more up. I I will be able to slide the lead like we just talked about the leading edge where one the the shot before I couldn't. It's the leading edge, it's more of a thump. There's not a ton of follow through. This one the leading edge will get under the ball. The the you know the you can play this more in the air. And the bounce is going to take care of any of this. 100%. Yeah. Okay. It should just in your again similar bunker shot you know amateurs will hit a flop shot with a with a square face let's get that thing open so we're just opening this up and you know a practice swing or two in a similar scenario feeling a similar live feeling the club head kind of toss underneath the ball would certainly be something that you'd, you'd probably want to do certainly something that I would do so in you this feel throwing that bounce a hundred percent yeah you're, you're opening the, the opening of the face should just kind of lead you to do that anyway. Right hand passes left. 100%. For a right hander. 100%. And if you struggle doing that, one of the easy things to do is, is I would say, take it up to about where you feel in the backswing and then just let the club fall. Yeah. Like, let the club fall. That's kind of, even even so much as like just dropping it onto the... Because you're never going to get there, yeah. basically. You're not, you will not do that. But that's kind of the feeling of how you want this shot to go. You definitely want your hands to pass, your right hand to pass over your left, and the club head to kind of zoom past your hands. And the other call out, because I know people want to see you hit it, but you do stand quite square for these, I've noticed. Yeah, What's I that do. All about? I, I don't, I think it's just more of a preference thing. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with standing a bit more open. I, I just feel that it, you know, when you open the club face, you should maybe st stand a little further left of the target if you're a right-hander. Um, but if you're going to release it that way, you can release under it and straight the target. hundred percent. Got it. I think it just, the further you aim away from the hole, the more you may have to manipulate. And, I get know, it. Yeah. Keep it simple. And again, this is, a, this is a shot. The mistake would be to, to leave it short. It would be okay to have, you know, 12, 15 feet past it. I've hit a poor shot into a bad area. The easiest, the best way to shoot a good score is get it out of the bad area right yeah. good advice so we're open face maybe a bit longer of a swing and it's just kind of club head drops and then passes the hands that's pretty good that's not pretty good that's mm. very good so that was that was very good darn near a 10 out of 10 it came out just how we wanted it and even had a little bit of grab so now i've got a very good look at at, at par now, I know when we walked up, I threw this golf ball in it, and you said, hey, hey, I like it, leave it, I see something. Yep. I'm not sure I might have seen it, but talk to me about sure. this one now, and the safety bailout, right? Yeah, so if, again, bad spot. We've hit it in a, in a not great area. And then this one is going to be a little harder because it's, it's bare, but it's sitting a little bit more on the bottom of the, like on the actual ground, not up in grass. So this is going to be harder to slide that leading edge under, so that makes the strike really difficult to achieve to hit the shot that I just did. Now, here at Bandon, we've got some lovely slopes we could use, especially when you're out of position. And if the end goal is to have a putt to save par, from a tough lie like this, we've got, we've got a slope, you know, 30 feet left of the hole. It will not, unfortunately, bring it all the way back to the hole, but it should bring it to 15, 18 feet and we've and we've given ourselves a chance and and that again golf is about shooting a score and the lowest score possible and to do that it's to try to pick as many shots throughout a round that you feel give you the best chance to succeed and and to save a stroke or two here and there so even for me i'm going to have a hard time sliding that leading edge and, and getting that ball in the air and stopping quicker from a lie like this 
it's okay, you know, to shift a little left, use a slope, even if it won't bring it all the way back to the hole. And then it's when the ball's sitting on the ground, it's just a bit more of a bunker shot. You're not hitting a ton of ball. Club face is still open, but you're going to go ahead and, and move some earth here. Um, and then it does. If I just carry this little bit of ridge and get it running up that, that left-hand side, it should leave me maybe 15, 20 feet, maybe even 25 feet. But the ball would be on the green. We've got yeah. a chance to save par. Got it. Let's give it a whirl. It's pretty good. Yeah, so it didn't, again, it didn't bring it all the way back to it. I find personally, when I don't try hero shots from bad spots and I do what I'm supposed to, I've got a great chance of going up there and holding that putt and keeping the momentum. Because your mind is in a good place because yeah. you haven't tried to be a superhero. You have just simply accepted that this isn't a great, a great area. I do not try, need to try to be a hero from here unless you get a great lie or unless the situation dictates it and it's late on a Sunday and you need to get it up and down to preserve your one shot lead. You know, that shot I just played there and going up there and, and doing your best on that putt, hitting a good, a good putt and hopefully holding it is how you keep momentum and accrue momentum throughout a day to shoot the lowest score possible. I'm really happy with our start on these wedges. If I look at that shot you've hit there, look at the face, look yeah. at the strike, high in the face. Yeah. You flip it that way, that's where you've got the mass between finger sure. and thumb. When you have that high mass for shots like this, I know the way that turf has come up, the way that strike is, that club is doing its job from my side. hundred percent, yeah. It's not just a hat rack, Higgsy. hundred percent. I'm listening to the engineers and I'm passing it on to you and I like where we're going. I love it. Top I love man. it. Enjoyed it. Thanks, Cheers. buddy. Okay, it's got to land right in between, right in that little walkway. <laughs> you boys ready? Ready. Oh, that actually might work. Go! Go! <laughs> Just a little kiss. That's pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good, fella.